Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized. Last time we left off, we got through Route 30 something and 28 and made it to Olivine City. Today, we're going to start off by fighting some, fighting some trainers that uh, we, you know, just kind of left, uh, mainly because I wanted to end the episode. Um, but we, we still need that money to pay for our. I was gonna say tuition, but no. We need that money to pay for like Pokeballs and stuff. So, you know, why? Why? Why do you have a Reggie Ice? What? Why are all you people so special? Why do you deserve a Legendary and I don't? <laughs> I have seen so many that I could not catch. Why are you so mean to me? Honestly, it's completely my fault for going with semi random R Nuzlocke rules. I, I honestly can't blame anyone. If I wanted to catch a Guarantina, I honestly could just say fuck it and go and catch one. But nah, nah. I want to at least have some challenge. I can't go around just catching any legendary I see. Ooh, Swampert. It looked like he was able to hit the dab. I'm sorry. Um, I'm getting this team confused with my Pokemon Call CM team. Where there is a Hitmonchan who has Needle Arm, and I think a Loudred who has Petal Storm or Petal, Petal Blizzard. I don't remember the name. Petal Dance. That's it. So I keep thinking I have these really good, like, grass type moves for whenever a water Pokemon pops up. And then I'm like, oh wait, I just have a Bell Sprout. Honestly, I should switch him out because he's not doing so good. Um, you have no other grass type moves, so that's good. Uh, let's just use confusion. Why am I surprised that confusion didn't do much? Wow, that hurt. Um, Metal Claw. I'm not surprised. Man, I wish I had a Swampert. Swampert is, like, so good. He is, like... When I say my favorite water starter? I don't know. Uh, Squirtle's okay. Totodile, eh, he might... Totodile might be... Might be number uno. I don't care for people up for Empoleon or um that's gonna what is it? That's Gen 4, so Gen 5 was Oshawa. Oshawa, yeah, Oshawa and Samurai are pretty okay. Um I don't know. That's right. And don't yeah, Pop Leo even 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 close. I don't like I I don't. I hate it. I hate Poplio. I mean, I don't hate him, but I mean, like, it's just really weird. I don't. I don't like Pokemon. Like, I'm gonna make you sound really stupid or some shit. I know it's gonna. Be, in some way, it's gonna make me sound bad. Um, but I don't like the fact that Poplio can be either a boy or a girl. But, like, no matter what, it just turns into a mermaid, like an opera singing long-haired mermaid. Uh, something about it makes me feel weird. Um, uh, I really don't. Uh, do any other starter Pokemon really have that kind of issue? Where like, I mean, I guess Litten is one of them. Actually, no. Nah, there could be like female wrestlers and shit. I mean, that, I, I, I've seen women built like that, so yeah, that's not a surprise. Um, I don't. I don't think there really is. I think all the Pokemon designs for starters at least have been gender neutral for the most part. Uh, maybe Servine, I guess, can be argued about, but like, honestly, that's that's fine to me. Um, maybe Fennekin's final evolution? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's probably the closest. But honestly, like, it just looks like an old mage. Like, like I think that's supposed to. I think that's how it's supposed to look. 
I think maybe its second form is a little bit more of a fender to that, but whatever. Um, whatever. It, does, it honestly doesn't matter. It honestly doesn't matter. Sire. Your sire is so great. Look how he is just like number one. You know like but Metalhead might be our like number one like MVP, but Sire is here for emotional support. And he is giving it. Like he is trying his hardest. I want to throw out bugs, but I feel like bugs is just gonna get her is that get his butt kicked. Like, maybe. You know what? Um, one thing. Uh, there's something in Pokemon that's always bothering Like, alright, so in the original games, Nidorina, Nidoran male and Nidoran female was separated into two different Pokemon, right? Just because, you know, that's how they would have normally separated the Pokemon if there was like a really big difference or something. Uh, just remind me. Okay, whatever. Um, so like, in Gen 1, it made sense to separate Nidorina and Nidorino like Nidoran male and Nidoran female by gender but now it's like we have Meowstic and Meowstic male and female are different genders but the same Pokemon and even though they have like different stages like honestly Nidorina Nidor, Nidoran male and female should be combined into one Pokemon then Nidorina and Nidorino can be stayed like different and then Nido King and Nido Queen also should be their own Pokemon. Like, call me weird, but I don't think there is really a point to Nidoran, male and female, that have different names. Especially since now the gender isn't a part of the name anymore. So it's like. Why? Canonically, this should be only 149 Pokemon in. Ooh, Dark Type move. And, um. Kanto, with 150 being. Uh, Mewtwo. And the damn, let's go back to the gym. Oh, honestly, yeah. yeah. Honestly, that makes a lot more sense to me now that I think about it. It also makes a lot more sense if Love Disc evolved into fucking uh, Amo Amolamola. No. Also, you know, while we're on the topic of things Pokemon should change, um, shinies. There's a lot of offending shiny Pokemon out there that look awful. Uh, I think mainly the green ones. Uh, it seems like anytime there's a shiny Pokemon that they really don't have a good idea for, they turn it green. So like, Machamp, I think, I think Golduck may be an offender. Um, Dragonite, like it makes sense. Well, it makes a little, little bit of sense to Dragonite, but also at the same time, it just doesn't look good. Um, I think Beedrill. I'm drawing a blank now. Oh, fucking Espeon. Espeon does not look good green. Maybe like blue or like. Ooh, and then, like there's also like the weird brownish yellow shinies. Like. It fits with Geodude, because like I can imagine a Geodude made out of like gold. Um, I think Onyx might be one, which I always was very confused on how come they never made Onyx Crystal. Because there was a Crystal Onyx in the anime, and hot damn, that shit looked amazing. And anyone would have killed to have a fucking Crystal Onyx, to be honest. Like, come on. Don't even tell me you wouldn't want an Onyx made out of pure Crystal. 
and now that we've beaten all the trainers and it's taken 10 minutes, um, I think, you know, just to keep stuff up and not just going direct, I mean, even though going directly for store would be great, uh, I'm going to heal and then I'm going to go use our new, actually no, we're all, Olivine City can be its own encounter. I was like, oh man, instead of surfing, we can just, you know, go fishing on the beach to the left of us, but no, this is... This could work out in our favor. Two new encounters, and then we can go to New Bark Town at some point. And then, ooh, there's a lot of places we can go get new encounters. Honestly, now that we have a, a now that we have a good rod, or yeah, a good rod and surf, like honestly, um, let's try like right here. This is, I think, our second attempt at a fishing Pokemon. <sighs> Alright. It is technically a new Pokemon. We can catch it. But we just caught Luxray, which I think has better stats and a better move pool. Um, and we're still going to hit him with Pursuit. You know, it's just something. And if he survives, we'll throw a couple of Great Balls at him and see where it goes. Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a backup electric type Pokemon. Maybe he'll learn something that we want down the road, or maybe he can be like a better HM slave than Buniri. I don't know. Metalhead, are you serious? It doesn't. Like, how come on the route earlier you were just tanking through that paralyzed, but now you're just like, eh. Like, it's so hard. It, it, it hurt. It hurt. I can't move. Like, come on, man. What, what is this? And then you use Metal Claw, no problem. Like, four turn. Oh, he has good defenses. I think he's actually tanking moves better than that, uh, that Luxor earlier. What? Come on. Come on. Ooh, I have the perfect name for you. Right, yeah, we're actually gonna catch this, and I have the perfect name. Because it looks just like something from Monster Hunter. Well, not just like, it's close enough. It's close enough to something in Monster Hunter where you can see the resemblance. You know, as long as it don't die. Don't raise your attack, that's bad. I mean, it's good, but like not now, that's bad. I hope I spell it right. One, two, three. Yeah. I really, I was trying really hard not to click my tongue, and I did it. All right. So, and this can be found. Thunderbolt hits this turn. Yeah. Yes. We're gonna call you Zinogre. I think that's the poke. All right, not the Pokemon. The monster's name. Basically, it's a giant electric. Wolf Dragon. It's really cool. Um, I only played Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate and Monster Hunter World. Which one? I don't care what anyone says, Monster Hunter World is the best Monster Hunter game out there. Just saying, all the streamlined stuff is way better than just the normal like Monster Hunter game. Cough, cough. Um, uh, actually, we can go. I don't think I've ever noticed that item there. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll surf. We'll, we'll see what we could have encountered if we just surfed here, you know. And I didn't expect an encounter that early. Ah, Quillfish, that's... oddly normal. Um, we'll see what the next one could have been, and then we'll... Wow, well, okay, uh... What? Pidgeotto! Or Pidgeot! You know? Alright, so... I, I'm glad we... I'm glad we used the rod, honestly. Like... I wouldn't have used Quillfish since it doesn't evolve in Pidgeot. We already have a flying-type Pokemon that we aren't using. Though, if you want one, I think it's even better than Pidgeot, so... I'm not saying it by fact, I'm saying that I, uh, I think it's better. 
mainly just because, like, the thing, Jen. I, I don't think Pidgeot has good stats. Um, bullet Punch! I don't care with that. I think that's the one that has priority. Um, if we get low punny, I might teach her that, or teach him that. Uh, if not, I mean, I could... Uh, I think when it comes to Matang, you're just supposed to keep it knowing Rocket Punch. Or not Rocket. Uh, bullet Punch. Sorry, I got distracted. For some reason, something smells like a cough drop. I don't know. But I think you're supposed to just... If you're going to teach any move, you're supposed to teach Matang... Or not Matang, Metagross Bullet Punch. And then just kind of like teach it in a zen head but uh, I, you know for how much I use Matangs and Metagrosses I honestly don't know much about them I don't know what the physical attackers are like special attackers I know that they're good in, at least not I don't know, at least the shiny one that I got in Pokemon Omega Ruby from the special event when the game first came out, it gave you a special Beldum, that new Zen Headbutt, Metal Claw, and some other stuff, because, you know, Beldum usually only knows takedown. But mine was like. It, I didn't Eevee train it, but like. Both its defenses were like out of this world, and its physical attack was nutty. Like, this thing could tank and hit like a fucking brick. Um, hop it. Let's see, you have a four years and stone. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why would you do that? It's so mean. Don't make me mad. Don't ask. I don't even know. Um. <sighs> see, it's Pokemon like Hoppers that make me wonder if we should have switched Dustox out for, like, Star. Star Arabia? I think that's the one we have because we need good flying type moves which oh wait i'm an idiot we have one but we just didn't teach it to him okay never mind i'll take that back it's my fault jim is being garbo and we're getting on the 20 minute mark but we barely started this tower um honestly uh, this tower is pretty long and I don't think we're going to be able to do it within 30 minutes, like we usually would if the episode would go on for longer. And I don't want to make four episodes of this session, because I got plans for today and tomorrow, and I want to stream either tomorrow or the day after. You know, definitely after editing, because I have so much crap to do. Uh, but like, um, Razor Wind was. This... I thought we had a flying type move. Oh, I guess I'm a liar. Then yeah, it just Dustox is just being trash. <laughs> I don't know if Dustox even learns any like good moves. To be honest, uh, let's just. We don't have any regular potions left. No. I'm not sure, but I think I think Matang's gonna evolve at level 30. I'm not sure, cause I mean I feel like it's level 50, but then I gonna when I say level 50, I think I'm talking about like Salamence, cause I know he's like a level 50 evolution. Please, please don't paralyze. Close, but no cigar. You know, I don't fully understand that that saying. Close, but no cigar. Whatever. Uh, hippo down. 
switch to scythe. All right, so yeah, we're getting some pretty even use out of at least half our team. I'm not going to sit and make pretend that, you know, I'm using everyone evenly. Like, uh, we've definitely been neglecting Jim, Weirdo, and Bugs. Uh, but, like, Quagsire, Batang, and Alakazam have really been the only ones doing work. Like, there's nothing op we can really... Not, I don't want to say there's nothing we really can use them for. It's just that they, get, they basically just get one-shotted on everything, even if it's like the same level. Like, let's see, Weirdo's two levels below, has the type advantage, and like, if he doesn't go first, he's gonna die. Yeah, so he's gonna die. See, it's like, what, what am I supposed to do in that situation? So, if we do get to a point, even though we don't have a lot of good Pokemon to choose from, I do want to switch out at least Bugs and uh, Weirdo. And of course, you would use that. <sighs> wow. Cop Katie, or if I lose. Why does everyone want my phone number? Why do all these full grown men want my phone number? Anyway, we're gonna leave up on this floor. Uh, I'm gonna heal everyone, make sure, because honestly, I'm not gonna look at this game after I stop recording. So I'm probably not gonna heal them. Actually,. You know what, let's just go to the Pokemon Center and we'll end there. We'll continue this next time. I hate you. You know that? I thought you were completely stationary for that the whole time. Then you come out and... Can then you come out and attack me like this? Alright. Well, here we go. Metalhead versus Glamow. Uh, I think Gran... I think it's only a normal type. Might be dark. Uh, yeah, then we're pro... Tomorrow. Then we're paralyzed. Then we're paralyzed too. So, and I don't think I have. Oh, I have one paralysis here. And then confusion. All right, yeah. So it's just normal type. Good. All right. Per ugly. Not per ugly. Glamiel down. Let's go. Uh, we can't use Weirdo. <sighs> and it's not. Well, even if it was Gen 6, you couldn't do anything with Zoom Meryl. Like, so, oh, wait, no, we have Steel Claw. So if it was Gen 6 typing, he could. Because we could just use Iron Steel Iron Claw. What am I. Metal Claw. What am I talking about? be nice if someone used a water type move in my flag tire so I don't have to heal it myself. Torterra? <sighs> that's, no, that's a huge mistake. I was like, ah, oh, grass ground, so if I use Surf, it'd be good. And it's like, wait, no. The grass would resist it, so it'd do neutral damage. Luckily, it's only level 15, so side beam? Yeah, good job, Mind Freak. You did everything. You did everything right. Milk Tank, again! Mm, that's a no from me, sir. And it just by that. Mm, not a fan. Not a fan at all. Well, neither was Mind Freak, so you're dead. Level 25. Alright. Blissey, oof. Um, this is gonna be a good experience boost. You can't send out 
Even though I would love to send out, you know, Weirdo to get that experience, at least try and see if him evolving would help a little bit. I think we're gonna have to just stick with Bugs, and depending on how bad Bugs gets hit... Apparently not at all. Alright, so Bugs is just gonna eat all this experience to himself. I mean, if this dude wanted to give me his number so I could revive him, that'd be great. Level 20! Please don't evolve. I mainly said that because I just didn't want to edit the evolution thing again. It, the way I have to do it, I, mean, I don't ha I, like all the Pokemon are part of like one image. So I have to like add three extra tracks just to like cut one out and then like put it on its own thing and then like make sure the transition for like the lighting goes fine. But Either way, you don't care about that. You just care about this Pokemon playing. This Pokemon playing. Playing. Man, did I just have a stroke? This Pokemon playing. I'm about to say Thang, but... Uh, whatever. And that's the end of this episode. Sorry we didn't get to do more. Um, if you like... If, you, if you're new to this channel, hit subscribe for more Pokemon Soul Silver down the road. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for updates on the series and dilemmas and delays or whatnot. whatnot. Um, follow me on Twitch if you want to catch me on streams playing Pokemon Coliseum currently right now. Uh, and I think that's really about it. Hope you all had a wonderful day. Hopefully I didn't mess up any of the recording schedules or anything this time. And until next time, bye bye